Don't look at what you see. Look at what you don't see. Tell me and speak what you want. And that is today's Morning Moxie. Welcome to the Morning Moxie Show. I am your host, Alicia Sharp, and today is Testimony Thursday. But before I describe who we have on our testimony today, I wanted to let you know that I have a brand new book that has just been released. It is called Look Up and Live Free by Alicia V. Sharp. And you can check it out on Amazon. It is on Kindle as well as you can also order a paperback edition of it. And it's a great book. I really enjoyed writing it and God really ministered to me as I was writing it. So I encourage you to check it out. But to let you know that you can actually get a free copy of it on Kindle, a free download next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, February 19th, 20th, and 21st. So don't forget that. Share it with your friends. You know, I'm, I'm going to be posting it on Facebook, and, and I will have a website completed by then, so you can check it out on there as well. Um, but today is Testimony Thursday, and we have a testimony of a little girl who had seizures and she was diagnosed with epilepsy and they pretty much sent her home to die because it was so bad. But Jesus stepped in and changed everything. Here's the story. Brittany Bacon Hester was a precocious three-year-old. She knew Bible scripture. She was singing in church all by herself. Just loved life, full of life. That all changed one morning when her mother Jamie heard a strange noise coming from Brittany's room like a gurgling, like a can't breathe, struggling noise. I immediately just picked her up and said, oh God, touch her. Brittany was having a grand mal seizure. Her parents rushed her to the doctor and Brittany was diagnosed with epilepsy, a condition all too familiar to Jamie. I understood it because I had them myself. So I thought she'd be just like me. I'd get her on medicine and everything would be all right. It wasn't that simple. Brittany's doctor started her on the first of many medications, but the seizures just got worse. She couldn't set up and she couldn't look at me to focus. And when I call her name, she was just totally out of it, just totally gone. As a mother, you feel so responsible. You, they're, they're your flesh. They've, they've lived in you. And, and when she would pull at me to help her, and I couldn't. I blame myself a lot. You know, I thought... I've given my daughter this sickness. Over the course of the next two years, Brittany's illness took its toll on her parents. Physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, even financially. Uh, one bottle of medication would cost $50 and we couldn't afford it. She needed 24 hour a day care. I mean, there was, it didn't matter if it's night or day, the seizures continued. Brittany had to wear a helmet to protect her head from injury while her parents turned to God's word for comfort. God gave me my promise. In Psalms 37, 4 and 5, He said, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and He shall give thee the desires of thine heart. God said, Don't look at what you see. Look at what you don't see. Tell me and speak what you want. I put her in the car and I started down the road, and I ended up at a school playground. And... um. I said, God, that's what I want. I want my little girl back, normal, like those kids I see that's running and playing. And he said, it will come to pass. The doctors, on the other hand, gave a different report. She had been in the hospital for almost three weeks, and they had tried everything. They ran one more brain wave, and they said her whole brain seizuring. So we can't even take out the part of the brain or put a shun in or to help her. There's nothing else we can do. They just said, uh, just let her go home where she'll be more peaceful in her own bed. I just knew she was close to death. And I thought, Lord, it's not time because you said that you would bring it to pass. Jamie spent a sleepless night praying for her daughter's recovery. That morning, Brittany began to speak. She kept saying, Jesus, Jesus. And I could tell by the look on her face and her eyes that well, she's responding and she hasn't responded or talked to me for a good year at all. So, you know, when she could look at me and describe Jesus, you know, with um, 
eyes like fire and the bright lights and the angels. Who could tell a five-year-old child that? I knew that she had encountered Christ. When they took Brittany back to the doctor, they were amazed. They just looked at her and pretty much just said the same thing that uh, we see the healing in her eyes. And uh, they knew that they just, one of the nurses said it's a higher power. And I said, yeah, it's Jesus, he healed her. A couple of months after Brittany was healed, Jamie began having headaches. My doctor thought it was just the stress I went through. But every time I'd take my medicine, my headaches would, would be stronger. Jamie's neurologist performed an EEG and found out why. He said, a miracle's taken place. Your brain waves now clear. Would you like to come off your medicine? And uh, sure enough, I did. And I uh, have been seizure free and drug free for uh, 18 years. Brittany is now in college studying to be a psychologist. She still loves to sing in church. The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. And she still remembers her encounter with Jesus Christ. Just had the glory of God shown upon him, and um, the angels were all around him, front, behind, everywhere. There was angels, and um, you just—it was just wonderful. You just felt so peaceful and so at ease, and. I, all I can say is there's nothing like it, and I've never experienced anything like it on this earth. Today, both Brittany and her mother are completely healthy. I had heard from God, and God kept His promise. And He will, and He does. That was a CBN testimony, and you can find that clip on YouTube if you search under CBN testimony, a supernatural deathbed visitor. Please go over to iTunes and rate or review this podcast if it has blessed you in any way, and I will see you again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.